You have worked on Everglades restoration for a long time, and the people of Florida have heard about the importance of that for a long time. What would you say are two or three milestones where you say we're getting it, we're getting closer and closer to it? Yeah. Uh, what are they? When I first got to Congress, uh, really one of the first things that I did is I created the Everglades Caucus, uh, along with my friend and colleague, Alcee Hastings. Uh, there's a caucus for everything in the House, but there wasn't an Everglades Caucus, which surprised me. Uh, we did that to have a place where we can focus on our, our energies. I was very well aware from the state legislature that the state had done a great job, but the federal government had not done its, its, its fair share. It's gotten better, so we ask, you ask about some specifics. Look, right now, finally, there are some real projects in the ground. There are completed canal projects. There are real projects in the ground. Um, I've insisted on trying to make that, uh, to do that as quickly as possible, to make sure that the taxpayer, and this is an expensive, expensive project, can see where their money is going. So when you ask, you know, specifically what, to me, we finally have projects that are taking place, whether it's the bridge, that one mile bridge over, the, over, uh, over Tamiami, which is now helping water flow, whether it's uh, the, the C-111, I mean, there, there are specific projects that are finally taking place. Uh, and I think it's important to continue that trend. I'm also very happy with the last WERDA bill that just passed uh, out of uh, Congress. A big part of that bill is actually going to benefit directly Florida and Everglades restoration. So I think we've had some successes, but we have to continue to build on those, on those successes.